Good morning, guys. You join me in the city of Braga in northern Portugal. And yeah, I just got here. I am all packed up, as you can see. And yeah, it was raining like hell this morning. But now there is only a little drizzle rain. So I will explain what's going on in a second. I just gotta find the right street here. So I just walked here from the train station and yeah, I caught a train from Porto. It was a one hour and 10 minute journey, only cost three euros 75. And this is the Porta Arco Novo, if I am not mistaken. So yeah, this is the entrance to the beautiful medieval core of Braga here in Northern Portugal. And it was built in the late 18th century. Anyways, let's head in there. So what is happening now? Well, I need to leave my luggage at the guest house, but it is way too early to check in. So I'm gonna head there now and then leave my bag and then we can go explore Braga and see if this city is worth visiting. To be honest, I have no idea. I have been to Portugal five times, but I never really considered coming to Braga. Wow, and this place right here looks like a church or fortress of some sort. Pretty impressive. So this is actually the Sedo Braga, Braga Cathedral, and it was built between the 11th and 13th centuries. Let's see if we can have a look inside. I actually really want to go drop my bag, but if we can see some stuff along the way, that's fine. First impressions, this is way less crowded than all the cathedrals in Porto. Now, there are some day trippers coming to Braga. So basically tourists who are in Porto and then just do a day trip here, but definitely not as crowded as the famous city of Porto. Let's see, do I have to buy a ticket? Right, I just went into the cathedral there, stunning building, and yeah, the city of Braga here has a lot of religious significance for the entire country of Portugal and the region. It was actually the seat of the first diocese on the Iberian Peninsula, and even today Braga is famous for its religious festivals. But yeah, now I have to go find this guest house, drop my luggage, and then I will be a lot more comfortable vlogging here in Braga. The weather conditions aren't ideal, but at least it isn't raining anymore. Wow, look at this square right here. So this seems to be some kind of palace and it is now an art museum. And then here you have all the historic houses with the azulejo tiles. And yeah, Braga seems to be quite a picturesque place. Those are my first impressions here. Alright guys, so I just left my luggage at the guest house, which is right over there, right in the center of Braga here. And yeah, I just wanted to get that over with because it was quite heavy. And also the weather has really changed now. It is kind of sunny and that's why it's important to dress in layers when you are in Portugal in September, October, because the weather can change very quickly. And this is the main square right here. Very pretty, as you can see. I have to admit that I don't know much about this city apart from the fact that it is famous for its religious sites and yeah, one of those religious sites is actually the main tourist attraction here and we're gonna go see that later. It's not the church that we saw, it's a much bigger site but yeah, look at it, Braga is quite picturesque. And then here is the Sporting Club de Braga which is the football team here if you are into football, you might actually know this team. And as it's written there, they play in the Champions League. I'm not actually sure what position they have in the Portuguese Championship or if they ever won it. I'm pretty sure they have. But yeah, the most famous clubs in Portugal are obviously Benfica, Sporting and Porto. But yeah, Braga is quite famous as well. So yeah, I first want to focus on the center here before heading to the main religious site of Braga, which is located about three kilometers from the city center. Anyways, let's have a look at some places here. I actually want to go get some food because I only had a croissant this morning at the train station in Porto. Wow, this is another very pretty church. I mean, I really didn't know what to expect coming to Braga, but this is definitely a city with a lot of beautiful architecture. I mean, it isn't as grand as Porto, but then it is much smaller, of course. Here we have all the coffee shops. 
the coffee culture here in Portugal is strong as well but yeah a beautiful historic center here and as you can see there are azulejo tiles everywhere now the interesting thing about these tiles is that they actually come from the Arabic culture so you might know that Portugal was under Arabic Muslim occupation for quite a while in the Middle Ages and the Arabs they actually introduced these tiles so the Portuguese later changed them and they changed the style but the origins are Arabic and even the name Azulejo or in Spanish you would say Azulejo they actually come from an Arabic word which I forgot what the word is but I'll put it into the video anyways these are the pretty streets of Braga here in northern Portugal it's quite a small city about 200,000 people in the city itself but then it is only one hour from Porto so it might actually count as metropolitan area of Porto but I'm not sure about that and there are a lot of tour groups here as well and quite a few foreigners but it definitely has a more local feel the vibes here are a bit more traditional than in Porto. Over there we seem to have another historic fortification structure. So Braga actually had fortress walls and the gate that we saw right at the beginning of the video, that gate was actually the entrance to the old city here. Just had a rather tasty burger there and it was about 11 euros with a coke so yeah pretty reasonable prices here that was pretty interesting you had a CNN reporter there and then ladies baking or selling nuts and they were screaming while the reporter was doing her report so yeah Cool scene there this is pretty lovely you got all these flowers here and clothes stores and some of the buildings are quite historic but then these ones look more 70s wow this is a beautiful Zara and then next to it we have a theater I suppose so yeah we haven't even seen the main tourist attraction in Braga yet because it's outside of the city center and I have to figure out a way to get there probably by bus but I want to do the check-in in my guest house first because I only left my luggage and I have to wait another hour before I can check in but it should be all right timing wise and now this street that I just walked down is called Avenida Liberdad which is the same name that the main avenue in Lisbon has walking some more here close to the main square and I have to say that this city is very laid back very chilled out and also not super touristy I mean there are definitely a few foreigners around and quite a few tour groups as well but they are mostly concentrated around the churches because I think that a lot of people just do a day trip here and then see some churches but now I walked maybe 500 meters away from the city center or the main square I should say and you can see that no more tourists around these are all locals if you like these smaller second tier but very chilled out cities then Braga is definitely worth considering on your trip to Portugal all right guys quick room tour here in Braga Portugal look at it so I wanted something a bit more historic and well I got it it's definitely quite rustic but I really like it check it out let's see what is the view like so we got this small balcony here wow so there is a bit of construction going on but this over there is the main square so yeah we are right on the main square here overlooking the pedestrian zone of Braga 
Now the only little downside of this place is that it doesn't have a bathroom, so the bathrooms are shared, but yeah, we can live with that. And yeah, I am paying 37 euros a night for this room, which I think is a bargain for such a beautiful historic property right in the center of Praga. All right, guys, I am now back on Avenida Libertad here, and I gotta go find a bus that will take me to a sanctuary on a hill. And that sanctuary is one of the most important religious sites in all of Portugal. Boa tarde. Uh, um bilhete turístico um dia. Obrigado. Right, I just bought myself a day ticket over there and this day ticket, which is valid 24 hours, costs 4 euros 35 and if you buy just one journey it is 2 euros but I'm gonna take the bus a few more times so I think that the day ticket might make more sense I mean I will take it at least two times so yeah, we'll see Wow! This is a stunning location. So basically you have all these small staircases and then it just merges together like this. And then the church on top of it. So if you are in the region, come check out this sanctuary at least, even if you don't have time to go to the city of Braga. Because yeah, where else do you have something like this? This is quite unique. So let's see what this walk up the staircase will be like. So there's well over 500 steps and lots of beautiful sculptures, wow! So this sanctuary was built by the Archbishop of Braga in the 18th century and I forgot his name but apparently he put his own sigil into many of the sculptures here. I mean yeah it's really not that hard if you are used to doing a bit of exercise but still, you do get out of breath, as you can probably hear. Now let's go explore a little bit around here. I want to see the church, of course, but I think that there are more places to see. Yeah, let's go check out the church first. This is pretty stunning though. So I just went in there and apparently you aren't allowed to visit as a tourist. You can only visit if you are praying. And yeah, I asked the lady who was working there and she said that it was fine. I could take pictures and so on. But yeah, I do want to respect the rules of this very holy place, which is, by the way, also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And here we have some kind of cave, I presume. Let's go check that out. Not exactly sure what this is, but yeah, let's go have a look. So yeah, this is a cave with water dripping and this is definitely stone, so it's not under a tree. I guess these formations are natural. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure guys. Maybe this has some religious significance as well because it is located right next to the sanctuary church. And yeah guys, that is it from Braga here. This was the main spot that I wanted to check out in this city and it definitely didn't disappoint. So yeah guys, I am signing off from here, but the adventures in Portugal will continue. I am actually heading to a different place tomorrow morning. And yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.